Recently, I was covering a story about a woman who had been fatally pushed in front of a subway train by a deranged homeless person. While I was interviewing the eyewitness, who was telling us exactly play by play what happened. And while she was telling me this terrible, terrible story, I started thinking about how the homeless population has changed during the pandemic, during the last two years. I've been out in the street reporting for the Post five days a week for the last two years. And I have watched the homeless population in New York City change. Let's go back to like the summer of 2020. One Monday morning, I'm driving downtown. I got a story to work on about the ferries. And I notice out of the corner of my eye as I'm driving down uh, next to the FDR, there are campfires. And I just hit the brakes and looked in and I was like, am I seeing what I'm seeing? Yes, I'm seeing camps underneath the FDR. I started walking down the length of the FDR from Catherine Slip all the way down. I got down as far as like Pier 11 and that was where it started petering out. They were cooking over open fires, over wood fires. They weren't burning like furniture or anything. They had real firewood. You know, they weren't like making burgers. These guys were cooking shrimp and fresh vegetables and they were like doing a fantastic job but they looked like they were homeless so that caught my attention and i walked over and at first they thought that i was coming over to ask them if i could have some of their food and they were immediately saying like are you hungry and i was amazed i was just like no no, no. and i showed them my press pass i told them what i was doing they just started telling me these, these terrible stories the homeless population that i met underneath that bridge was diverse it was large some of the people i talked to were groups of restaurant workers like kitchen workers uh, from other countries who worked in the chinese food kitchens and small chinese restaurants all around the city which had all closed due to covid early on mostly guys from uh, central america there were construction workers who were out of work because their jobs all got shut down undocumented illegal aliens who were the lifeblood of this restaurant industry and basically found themselves without resources and they were fending for themselves. And then there were the people you would traditionally see around town, people with mental health issues, people with addiction issues, substance abuse issues. They were all out there mixed in there as well. You know, that story went up, got a lot of attention. And that night and early next morning, the sanitation department had come by and basically dismantled all of the housing that had been built there. They were they were kind of pissed about it. They had all just basically walked across the street, watched them do it, came back and started rebuilding like almost immediately. That homeless encampment hung in there for a while. And now that's not what you're seeing anymore. So those people are all gone. Those people have all gone back to work. I don't see a lot of those people mixed into the homeless population that I'm encountering today. It's almost like they're being concentrated. We're starting to get to the point that the people who could be reached have been reached. And now you're seeing like this concentration of violently deranged individuals. Don't forget to click subscribe so you can follow along on the post stories that I'm covering today.